I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. If you got a reason to praise him, you can praise him right now. Because he's been good. He's been good. Who's been good? Jesus has been good. He deserves all our praise. No matter what's going on in the world, he's in us. Right now. He's with us. Yes, sir. He keeps us. Uh, he protects us. Right he leads us and guides yes, us with his word. Yes. We can be thankful today. Yes. Give God a hand of praise. One more time. Give God a hand of praise. Yes, sir. We're in the hands of the officers. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. God be over. Great Jehovah. Pilgrim through this barren land. Come on, church. He over
Lord asks you to give all our bills to you. Yeah, thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come to your house one more time. One more time, Lord, to worship you. One more time to praise you, Lord. Lord, we just thank you. We just thank you, Lord. We just, in the midst, Lord, of this pandemic that's going on right now, Lord. There's this pestilence in the, in the land. We know, Lord, that the president can't fix it. Congress can't fix it. The governor can't fix it. The mayor can't fix it. Even our pastor can't fix it. Only you, God. Only you, God, can free us from this pestilence. And in due time, in your time. Lord, we, so many have lost so many. But, Lord, lost, Lord. And Lord, we're just we're hoping that everybody can see that you're trying to draw us back to you. Oh, yes, sir. And Lord, for those that don't see it, Lord, open their eyes, Lord, so they can see it, so we can come back to you, Lord. And then, once we do that, we know that this, this pandemic, you know, that the pestilence in the land will go away. And say, then shall we hear from heaven. That you will open up the doors of heaven like we've never been blessed before. Lord, we just come to you this morning, Lord, with a bow down here, so Lord, with hearts open to receive your word, Lord. Then, Lord, we just say thank you for all that you've done, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you would bless the sick and the shut in on today, Lord. Let you would touch them. The ones that are sick in their body, Lord, touch their bodies. We know that you can heal them, Lord. Yes, sir. Those, Lord, that lost loved ones. Give them comfort that they need. We know that you can comfort them, and you only can comfort them, Lord. Yes, sir. And Lord, we just, we just thank you, Lord. We can't, thank we can't thank you enough, Lord, for all that you do. Yes, all that you're doing, Lord. We know that you, all that you're going to do. Lord, we ask you to continue to bless our pastor. Continue to touch him, Lord. Continue to, to guide him and lead him, Lord. Guide him, Lord, that we will follow in his direction. Lord, that you give him for her. Lord, bless his wife, Lord, that she continue to, the work that she do, Lord, that a lot is not appreciated a lot of times because she's not seen. But we know that she's working hard and doing what she's doing, Lord. For all those that's out there on the airways, Lord, thank her for that because she's the one that brings it to you every, every week, Lord. And then, Lord, we just ask that you will bless these dignities, Lord. Lord, that you will bless the ministers, their wives, Lord. And Lord, you will bless the whole entire friendship, Lord, as a whole, as a family, Lord. And then, Lord, we ask you that you will bless all the churches today that's over your name, Lord, that's preaching and teaching your word, Lord, your word only. And then, Lord, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord, that we can continue to come to you, Lord, and you know what our needs are before we even ask. And, and you supply our needs every day, Lord. You give us a, a place to live, Lord, a shelter over our head. You give us a food on the table, Lord. Lord, you give us clothes on our backs, Lord. And Lord, you give us a rise that we may get back and forth, Lord, to the things we need. Lord, we just say, we, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Where's Lord, you you will bless this day. Lord, this will be a, a good day in your name, Lord. That somebody will be saved on today, Lord. That somebody will open their hearts, Lord, and accept your son Jesus as their, their Savior, Lord. And accept you as the head of their lives, Lord. Lord, we, once again, Lord, I keep, I, I keep saying thank you, Lord. I can't thank you enough, Lord. Thank you, yes, sir. I can't thank you enough. Oh, yeah. All that you do, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You, you know, you know what we need need, Lord, you. and you provide for us, Lord. Thank you so much. Lord, you just, just bless this, this city, Lord, Lord that the oh, things that we see that's wrong, Lord, that you can, that you can touch the people in charge and make the things right, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, and when the time comes that we can come back into the church as a family, Lord, when the doors are open for everybody, Lord, Lord, just said, we hope, Lord, that when they, they, they come back, there'll be so many, Lord, that churches won't hold them for all everybody, Lord. That they can see what you've done for them, Lord. See what we've done in all of our lives, Lord. And Lord, we let's say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all, for all that you do, Lord, all that you've done. Lord, we say we 
give y'all the, the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Our scripture this morning will be coming from Psalms 34. Those who are here, please stand for the reading of the word. And it reads, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuous be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Woe, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked unto him and were light, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them, feared them, and delivered them. Oh, taste, taste, and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word. Jesus is on, he's on the main line. Why don't you tell him what you want? Come on, church. Oh, Jesus is on, he's on the main line. Somebody tell him what you want. say amen. amen. Come on, let's say amen again. Welcome one and all to the Friendship Baptist Church morning worship service. We thank you and we ask and encourage you to invest your time uh, in the presence of Almighty God. 
Let this be a worship experience wherever you may be, whether you're driving in your car, and whether you're at your home, or the few that are here. We invite you to have a sincere worship service. Let it be about you and the Lord. Again, thank you for allowing us this time. We certainly know it was nobody but the Lord. We're glad today to see Sister Mary Johnson back. Amen. Certainly been praying with her. Uh, going to take care of her family on the East Coast. I'm going to say happy birthday uh, this past week to Deacon in Training Dante Duffel on the 18th and Brother Micah Wright on the 22nd. Happy birthday to them one and all. Then happy anniversary on last week to our own Reverend Huntley and Sister Huntley. Happy anniversary, 26, 26 years. Happy anniversary, may God bless you. May God keep you. Now we will have our announcements by our own sister, Deaconess uh, Shirley Seward. Here as she comes. First giving our praise to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Respect to the pastor, Dr. Reverend Dr. Anthony Donna, Bless to the Lord. ministers, to Sister Donna, to the officers, and to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in this morning. These are your announcements for the week of January the 24th, 2021. On Tuesday, January the 26th, we will have our mission and brotherhood meeting at 6 p.m. on Zoom and on conference call line. On Wednesday, January the 27th, we will have our pastor's insight in the word Bible study, and that will be at 7 p.m. on Facebook, Zoom, and on the conference call line. Yes. On Thursday, January the 28th, we will have our SOS, Saints Offering Supplication prayer line, and that will be at 7 p.m. on the conference call line. Yes. On Friday, January the 26th, sorry, January the 29th, we will have our pastor's hour and that would be at 7 p.m. on Facebook, Zoom, and on the conference call line. On next Sunday, January the 31st, we will have our WMU Fifth Sunday Scholarship Program. Amen. They will be doing morning worship at 1045 a.m. on Facebook and on our conference call Amen. line. Please plan to attend your meetings throughout this week by tuning in on Zoom, Facebook, YouTube, or by calling in on the conference call line, which is 831-318-0321. These are your announcements for the week of January the 24th, 2021. And I'd like to read a card that says, thank you so much to Pastor Sister Donna and the entire Friendship family. A mere thank you does not begin to express just how grateful my family and I feel to have a wonderful church family yes, like sir. Friendship. Yes, the icon of love expressed to me and my family has been sincerely overwhelming. Yes, I want to thank you for every text, phone call, vocal mail, encouraging words, get well card, flower arrangement, yes, the delicious meals prepared for my family. Lord but especially for your prayers. Yes, the prayers of the righteous truly blessed me yes. and brought me through this Hallelujah. terrifying ordeal. Wow. Yeah. I am beyond thankful for each of you, and I love you all very much. Amen. Sincerely, and that's from Reverend and Sister Garrett and family. Amen. Thank you, and may God bless each of you. Amen. Thank you, Sister Seawards for those uh, announcements, let's govern ourselves accordingly. We did want to make one amendment that uh, uh, we will have our servants ministry phone call on tomorrow at 7 p.m. Uh, on conference call. So looking for all of the servants ministry. I'm thankful that they are staying in contact with all of the church. It makes it that much more easy 
for the pastor to know that the church is staying connected. So the servant's ministry is a dynamic part and a most necessary and needed part of the church at this hour, especially, I should say, at this hour. So I thank you, church, for allowing us to continue in this, in this effort and in this vein. Amen. We're now preparing for altar prayer. We're asking Reverend, I believe it's Reverend uh, Huntley. Amen. We want us to prepare our hearts to approach the altar of God. I don't know if you know this or not, but prayer still works. Let me say that again. Sometimes we neglect uh, to give God what we owe him because we are afraid. And I found out the times that we are negligent in prayer, not because we are afraid, but because we got too comfortable. Don't make God have to shake you. Don't make God have to wake you. Learn how to call on his name, even if you ain't got nothing to say, but thank you. I don't have to question whether he's been good to you. I'm looking at you. And if you're looking at me, God has been good to you. So let's turn our attention to our God. Don't be concerned about uh, the political realm, but consume yourself with your mind on Christ Jesus. Paul wrote to the Colossian church in that third chapter. He said, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Keep your mind in heavenly places and God will lift you through all the pandemic crisis of this present hour Reverend Huntley is coming now and he's going to pray with us I need more. I need thee Every
hope that is pleasing unto you. You blessed our pastor to, to be able to, to give a message yes, sir. To, from you each and every day. And, and we yes, sir. take it for granted now, but we want to tell you thank you. You didn't, you didn't have to do it. Oh, yes, sir. We take it for granted that we wake up and see our loved ones, and, but that somebody didn't wake up to see theirs this morning. But we want to tell you thank you. Father, we realize that that sickness all over the land. Yeah. And we realize, Father, that the deaf angel is passing by each and every house. But just because we had the blood posts on yeah. on our homes and yeah. you 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 blessed us to, for the angel to pass by. Yes, thank you. Thank you blessed us for to be able to pray one more time. And when we thank you. Oh, we thank you. And oh Lord. Oh God. We do oh, have God. many of, of this family that that are sick and bedridden. Many of this family that that really don't know if today is Sunday. But we asking in the name of Jesus that, that you would touch their homes and touch their bodies and touch their their lives, Father. To be able to, to say, Lord have mercy. And to be with us now, Lord, as we come forth faithfully to trust in you. Faithfully, Father, we call on your name. Faithfully, Father, we come as one family, asking and begging you to don't turn away from us, but to stay right here with us, Father. To, to, if our hearts are not clean, clean them up, if you will. If our prayer is not the right prayer, would you clean it up for us? Make it better. Make it so that it's, it's pleasing unto you. Because, Father, we desire, we desire a closer walk with you. We are knowing, Father, that without you, we are nothing. But with you, all things are possible. Guide us now. Guide us as, as we go forward. We are moving like a blind man that can't see. Not knowing what each day will bring. But trusting and having faith in you that everything that we do in your name, everything that we do by your word, everything we do with your grace and your mercy, we know now without a doubt that everything will be all right. We've accepted that if we don't be here, we'll be with you. We've accepted, Lord, that you are in charge. We've accepted, Father, that you are the one that's able to stop this epidemic. And then you went on to a pandemic. But we know that you are able to shut it off whenever you get ready. And we just gonna wait on you. We gonna depend and trust in you. We know, Father, that you are in charge. It's you that woke us up this morning. And it'll be you, Father, that are going to lay us down tonight. It's you that have did it all. And we want to tell you thank you. We want to lift you up. We want to praise your holy name. You've just been so good. And now, Lord, as we go just a little bit higher in your word, we ask that you would touch the pastor. 
Give him a word that only you can give. Give him a word that only we can receive. And let it be in the name of Jesus Christ we pray and we thank you. And they all say, Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you, church family. Certainly, we want to continue to keep our sick list in prayer. I know you saw the names on the screen. We pray that you will pray for all of our sick and shut in. Then we wanted to say to our distant family across the state and around the nation, welcome to this movement of God called the Friendship Baptist Church. We welcome Sister Leonetta. Amen. We welcome Sister Deborah Maxwell. Amen. Uh, she uh, accepted the church family under membership Amen. at the funeral. Amen. We welcome Sister Deborah Maxwell as our new member. Thank you so much. We now will receive our tithes and our offering. And we want to thank all of our online givers, drop-off givers, and partners across the country. Brother and questions about it. They called, we rectified them. Amen. Those who haven't had have still have may, may have issues with yours, please call me and let me know so we can get it Amen. get it rectified. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, Lord, Lord God, how we thank you. Thank you, Father God, for the gift and the giver. Yeah. Take right now this offering, Father God, and lift it up high and multiply it, Father God. That your kingdom may be lifted up, Father God. Yeah. Your kingdom may be raised, Father God. Yes, your people sir. may be blessed. <coughs> we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The one who died but yet still lives. It's in his name we tell you thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We will now prepare our hearts as our dance troupe comes and praises God in dance. Truly, God deserves our highest praise. God deserves our greatest expressions of appreciation. Wouldn't you agree? That if it had not been for the Lord, who was on your side, I don't have to question where I would be, and you just about know where you would be as well. So help the, help the uh, dance troupe as they worship and praise God through dance. Give them a big hand as they come.
your hands together and bless God for that. Come on, bless God for that dance troupe. Yes, to the officers and to the ministers, to our mothers and to each of you, we're grateful to God to be here one more time. <laughs> Y'all gonna help me today? Yes, Y'all gonna help me today? Yes, sir, man. Let the church say yes. 
Let the church say yes. Let the church say yes. Yes. Yeah. Let the church say yes. Tell him, thank you, Lord. 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 He's been good. I wish I had just one witness. He's been good. The Lord has been so good. He's been good. He's been good. <laughs> He's been good. Now, if this is your witness, you ought to help me say it. He brought me out. He brought me out. He brought me out. Yeah. He brought me out. He brought me out. He brought me out. Maybe you still bound up. He'll bring you out. He'll bring you out. He'll bring you out. Yeah. He'll bring you out. He'll bring you out. Yeah. He'll bring you out. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for grace and mercy. He spared us one more time and we don't take it lightly, don't take it for granted. We thank you for just this opportunity to worship and praise your name. We know you've been good. You have proven that you are worthy of all of our adoration. You are worthy of all of our affections. Nobody could have done for us what you have done. Hallelujah to your name today. Speak to hearts and minds. Save those that are lost. Strengthen those that are weak. God will give you the glory. We'll give you the honor. And we'll give you all of the praise. Thank you now. Thank you for the soul that joined the church. Thank you for sending laborers and continue to sin. And we'll give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, thank you. Amen and amen. Can you stand to your feet? Hold your Bibles up. To God be the glory for the things he has done. He is doing great things. Thank you, Dance Troop. Wonderful job. Whatever form of social media you, you are on, would you please hold your Bible up, even if you're on conference call, if you're on your phone, you while you're driving your car, pull over to the side of the road. We want to dedicate ourselves to the word of our God. Repeat out to me, this is my Bible, God's holy word. I believe every word of God's Holy Bible. I believe what it says about God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe what it says about me. And I believe what it says about my salvation. This is my Bible. God's holy word. Uh, uh, I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and will hide its words in my heart 
that I might not sin against God. Thank you, thank you. While you're standing, turn that same Bible to Numbers. <clears throat> Numbers, the 16th chapter, is where we'll find the words to our text. Thank our musicians today. Thank uh, Deacon Dennis and Amen. young brother Stefan Amen. and Reverend Antoine, silent, silently playing. Numbers, 16th chapter, beginning at verse number 41. And it reads, but on the morrow, <clears throat> all the congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, saying, ye have killed the people of the Lord. And it came to pass when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the congregation. And behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. And Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Get you up from among this congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a censer and put fire therein and off the altar, and from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly unto the congregation, and make an atonement for them. For there is wrath gone out from the Lord. The plague is begun. And Aaron took as Moses commanded and ran into the midst of the congregation. And behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put on incense and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead and the living. And the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were 14,700 beside them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Moses unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the plague was stayed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I want to preach for a little while <clears throat> from the topic, seeing Jesus in the plague. Seeing Jesus in the play. Little Johnny was a faithful Sunday school student. He loved participating in class. He especially loved hearing the stories about Jesus, how the teacher presented Jesus plainly in the class. But one day, Johnny's parents saw a change in little Johnny. He no longer was excited about going to Sunday school. They began to ask his parents even if he could skip today. One morning during Sunday school class, the new teacher asked the question, what the name of the animal that small, gray, hairy, lives in trees and collects nuts for the winter. Little Johnny shouted out, Jesus. The teacher kind of smiled and shrugged it off. No, little Johnny. Teacher asked a question again. What animal lives small, gray, hairy, lives in a tree and collects nuts for winter? Little Johnny hollered out, Jesus. By this time, the teacher is upset. He calls for Johnny's parents and informs them of the situation. Johnny's parents turn to little Johnny bewildered. 
and asked little Johnny, do you not understand what the teacher is asking? Little Johnny said, yes. Well then, Johnny, why didn't you respond with the right answer? Johnny said, well, I knew they was talking about a squirrel, but daddy, teacher should have been talking about Jesus. And I must agree with little Johnny. We spend too much time talking about any and everything else except Jesus. We who are believers need to stop talking about Trump, need to stop talking about the pandemic, and start talking about Jesus. Even seeing Jesus in the Trump failed presidency and seeing Jesus in the present pandemic. No, I'm not crazy. No, I'm not out of touch with reality. I, I know we're in the middle of a plague. I understand that it has reached epic proportions or even of global uh, transition, but I can say with full accuracy, I see Jesus in the plague. It's easy to see Jesus with the sun shining. I'm asking, can you see Jesus in calamitous crisis moments that we deal with on a daily basis? At the time of our text, Israel was smack dab in the middle of a crisis, suffering from a pandemic from heaven. And you know, we can readily uh, relate because we are presently under the destructive power of a global pandemic. All because of a new rebellion raised by a very next day against Moses and Aaron. Israel had an issue with her God. A at this text, Israel was upset with the Lord because God killed some men who tried to usurp authority over Moses and Aaron. God did a new thing. God caused the earth to open her mouth, swallowed up them illegitimate leaders, and destroyed them by fire at the same time. See, our, our, our text opens the very next day, the next morning, when the majority of the people are now ready to fight against Moses and Aaron. Now that just blows my mind of how we look at Israel's ignorance. Just yesterday, they heard the screams of them sinners being killed by the earth. Just yesterday, they heard the sounds in their own ears of folks screaming and hollering, what's going on just yesterday? And yet, they are ignoring the warnings. Listen, church. Though we have been saved from sharing the same punishment, yet they jump right in the face of Moses and Aaron because they wanted some other leaders. And, and look what they say. You have killed the people of the Lord. That's what, they, that's what they charge God with. In other words, they, de they defamed divine injustice. I anybody can see Moses and Aaron didn't do that. Can't nobody make the earth open up her mouth and swallow up people? Men cannot do that. That's nobody but the Lord. So then they gathered against Moses and Aaron. No doubt they had made mind made up. They going to kill Moses and Aaron. But as they look toward the tabernacle they behold the glory of the Lord. Now, I do believe that the glory of the Lord showed up for the protection of God's servants. Moses and Aaron came to know what it was they came to the tabernacle to know what was the mind of God in this pandemic. The Lord told them, stand back. I'm going to consume them people who acted a fool. Get out of my way. 
I'm going to kill these rebellious Israelites. And that's what, that, that's, what the, uh, that's what folk need to be when they don't want to accept the Lord. The Lord will kill them. Not you or I. It's for us to pray that God will have mercy. But look what God did. God sent a plague out when a change needs to take place. Tell your neighbor, God sends a plague out when a change needs to take place. Now, now, you notice, Mr. Trump was poised to win the White House for a second term. Oh, yes, he was. Even with all the hatred and racist, nasty language. But in March of 2020, God sent a plague right in the cycle year of the presidential. Y'all don't see Jesus in that? The Lord sent COVID. Now, now, maybe you can't see Jesus in the play. Maybe you need to have your eyes examined. But, can, but just in case you cannot see Jesus, I'm going to help you. Focus your spiritual eye this morning. And as we run through this text and investigate Moses and Aaron's response, and we'll see a beautiful portrait of our Prince of Peace. And that first vision you see of Jesus is the prayer of preservation. Tell your neighbor, prayer of preservation. They, Aaron and, and, and Moses fell on their face. Humbly pleading with God for mercy. In that plague, the enemies of the Lord deserve to be punished. But both brothers pleaded with God for mercy. They ask for the prayer of preservation. They ask for mercy. That's why I say I see Jesus. Because Jesus is merciful. And I got to tell you, I see Jesus in their prayer. Because as they fell before God, it was in humble submission to the Lord. And we must go to God in humble prayer. We have to ask the Lord in the name of Jesus for mercy. Mercy suits our case. Oh, I thank God that prayer is still a lifeline. Prayer is still a connection between heaven and earth. Prayer is symbolic of Jesus because Jesus is the vehicle by which prayers are answered. When we go to God in prayer, we got to use that formula in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says to us, whatsoever we ask in his name, you shall. Can I just say that Jesus also was a prayer warrior. Jesus spent Every spare moment he could in prayer. He prayed all night long. He prayed on a mountain. He prayed at a graveside. He would pray to heal blinded eyes, even in the Garden of Gethsemane, with great drops of blood falling from his brow. Jesus prayed, Oh, my Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass. Nevertheless, not my will but thine will be done. Is that right? Jesus knew the value of prayer. You ought to be able to see Jesus in that prayer of preservation. But let me focus attention secondly on finding Jesus in their proper presentation. While Moses conversed with God. The judgment of God was already in motion. God sent the plague. Moses gave quick instructions to Aaron take the censer with incense and the burning coals from the altar, rush among the people and make an atonement. See, not just anybody could accomplish the task. Not just anybody had the right to go to the altar of God. Even though the situation called for an emergency. You, you Bible readers remember? 
It was Aaron's own sons who got fire from an altar of God. But because it was illegitimate, the fire fell from heaven and consumed them because they were out of order. But listen, when it comes to God, we got to do things according to God. Look at Jesus in the censer. The censer was used to satisfy God. Here the term means propitiation or appeasement of the wrath of God. In the context of the ancient East, incense often was offered to pacify and appease God, to soothe their God spirit. Incense enhanced the sweet-smelling aroma of burning sacrifices that ascended into the heavens, symbolically entering into the nostrils of God. So as Aaron was using the censer, it served symbolically of satisfying God. That can't be nobody but Jesus. What did God say at Jesus' baptism? This is my beloved son. What did God say at the transfiguration? This is my son. Hear ye him. So then Jesus is the only one that satisfies God. But I noticed that Aaron he was made to get the fire from a specific place. Fire was from the altar. He couldn't go home. He couldn't strike a match. But the fire was at the altar. See, the altar was the place where the sacrifice was consumed. It, it, it was in this I see Jesus. Because Jesus was consumed in satisfying God by his sacrifice. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. Acts 4 and 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name given among heaven, among men, whereby we must be safe. First Corinthians 3 11. For other foundation can no man lay than that he is laid, which is Christ Jesus. First Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one mediator between God and men. That is the man, Jesus. If God is to be satisfied, it must be God's design. No, not Buddha. No. Not Muhammad. No. Not Isis. No. No other idol God. But the blood of Jesus. No. Ye were not redeemed. Know ye not that ye were not redeemed with uh, corruptible things, but with the precious blood of Jesus who was slain as a lamb and opened not his mouth. Prayer, preservation, proper presentation. Thirdly, let me talk about the plan of participation. While Moses stayed in the presence of God, I see Jesus in Aaron's action. Aaron went from the altar to fill his censer. It had to be according to God's design. He carried the sense among the people, stood among the people between them and the plague. Aaron was a type of Christ. Because Christ did come into the world to make an atonement for sin and to turn away God's wrath from you and I. I told you I see Jesus. I told you I see Jesus. If that ain't the incarnation, Jesus was born of a woman. God sent his only son. I see Jesus in the altar propitiation. God sent his son, born of a virgin, to be man's go-between 
to be man's propitiation. That's what's meant when we saw Aaron taking the censer. That's what's meant when we saw Aaron taking the fire from the altar. That's what's meant when he added incense to make the offering sweet smelling fragrance before the Lord. And in that same way, he was making atonement to God. Ah, uh, that word atonement wraps up everything in Jesus. Atonement, if you break it up in three parts, at A-T, one O-N-E, M-E-N-T, at one meant. Man and God were meant to be together. Can I get a witness here? Man and God were meant to be as one. So then we cannot <clears throat> get bogged down in this long period of isolation and separation. Because if we're going to make it, it's necessary to see Jesus in it all. And I mean that sincerely because if you cannot see Jesus in the agonies of life, then you cannot see Jesus in the plague. Somebody might want to ask me, how can we see Jesus? Reverend, what are you talking about? Well, you do know that uh, in the majesty of our Savior, that uh, he had his hands on everything. Can I get a witness? But uh, I come to tell you that uh, Jesus is in control of the trouble that uh, we are going through long. He has not surrendered his throne over to happenstance. Ain't God all right? So uh, no matter how hard or how rough the plague may get, and we can still say, Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. When you see me crying, yeah, all oh, my tears in my eyes, I still can say, Thank you, Lord, Jesus. When you see me with my head hung down, I still can say, Thank you, Lord Jesus, because it is because I still see Jesus in the plague. Ain't God all right? I'm trying to tell you that no matter what happens, the Lord will take care of you. Is there anybody here? that can save I've had some agonizing times on this Christian journey but that's all right the Lord will take care of you yes sir. how many here today can say yes I see the Lord in this plague I see his hand of mercy sparing us all day long. I see his heart of compassion loving us who are unlovable. And because I know, oh, I know that the Lord is in the plague, I can run on and see what the end's gonna be. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me close here. But before I close, 
we remember we saw Jesus in their prayer we saw Jesus in the presentation we saw Jesus in their presence when Aaron went among the people that symbolizes the incarnation Jesus was born in Bethlehem we saw that Aaron got the fire from off the altar that symbolizes the sacrifice that Jesus he sacrificed out on a hill called Calvary the man died for you and me the man dropped his head the man gave up the gold he died I heard him say it is finished he died anybody know he died you ought to say yes if you know he died you ought to say yes can you say thank you for dying for me I see Jesus and every plague every day I get up I still see Jesus he died but it didn't stay dead early 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 Sunday morning he got up with all power anybody know he got power say yes say yes say yes say yes hey 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 yes thank you Lord ain't he all right ain't he all right do you know he's all right say yes help me today say yes have you tried him Father we thank you we thank you we can see thank you we can see you thank you that we can fix our eyes on you and you bring us through this pandemic long as we got our eyes on you. God, everything gonna be all right. We've already fixed it up with Jesus. And even if we get blessed with the pandemic, let us go through with grace. Let us go through knowing that you got it all in control. We know you're a doctor, but every now and then fiery furnaces need to come. Every now and then we have to get thrown in a lion's den. We pray, Master, that you would keep us with the right mindset that even in every issue, in every situation, you got it all in control. You know exactly what's going on. All we have to do is see you through our prayers, see you in our presentation, and then realize we can see you because you became present. You came among us. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah to your name. We give you all praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. Amen. Come on, give God a hand of praise, will you? Somebody here, somebody on Facebook, somebody on conference call, might not know Jesus. You can't see Jesus with your natural eye. But I'm, I'm here to tell you, you can behold him through faith. Once you accept him. If you don't have Jesus, what you're looking at is a catastrophe. You're looking at a plague as though it is a destructive force. But I'm here to tell you, God is in control. He knows everything. He sent this to get us back in, in line. I believe that in all my heart. 
He sent this so that we can get our attention on him. I guarantee you, folk thinking about him now. Now, if, it, if you never thought about it, if you've been around the church, but you never accepted Christ, now is your chance. Now is your opportunity that you can feel the passion that we feel, the, the joy that we experience. You'll be able to be a part. All you have to do is admit and acknowledge you're a sinner. If you do that, and then believe that Jesus' death on Calvary satisfied God's wrath, paying the, pen, the price of our pen, your penalty. If you believe that, and then confess that Jesus as Lord and Savior. There are a whole lot of other Jesus, but that Jesus who died and got up from the dead, you confess him as your Lord and Savior. He will save you. You'll be delivered from all of your sins. Amen. And you begin a daily a process called sanctification. Your walk with God will get better day by day. Will you do that? If that's you, uh, let us know. Leave us a, uh, write us a letter. Drop it off, mail it to our physical address, which is 1440 Broadway Avenue, Seaside, California, 93955. Or you can give us a call. Leave it on our voicemail on our landline. That's area code 831-394-2966. Heaven waits on your response to shout. And friendships want to shout with you. God bless you. And may God keep you for the chairman. We good. All right. All minds are clear. Thank you so much. Amen. Give Pastor a hand. Didn't he preach out of his heart? Amen. Uh, we gonna, in the midst here in the future, we're going to be cleaning out that back shed back there. Oh, amen. And we have uh, some carousels of, of necklaces and bracelets and the carousels of balloons. If you know of anybody who wants them, amen. we're willing to give them to them. They just come take them off our hand. Amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about? If you got any questions, get one of the deacons. We'll take you back there and show you. We try to get rid of that stuff. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Jim. You can put it in the back of your car today. All right, stand to your feet, we're going home. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Ooh. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Wave your hand. God has spoken. Say amen. Amen. Oh, God has spoken. Let Lord, we thank you on today. Give your name to praise and we pray that we see you in everything that is going on. We thank you for the bread house. We thank you for the baker today, Dr. Dunham for the bread of life. Pray now that we will take what you've given us and incorporate it in our lives for the living out of our days. Now to him who's able to keep us from falling and to present us fall of his before his throne with exceeding joy to the only wise God be glory, majesty, dominion, and power now and forevermore. Let every heart say amen, amen, and bless God.